Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. I'm just going to ask a pretty interesting video on basically hosting videos in Google Drive for your blog or website, etc. It's the best alternative to YouTube. And if you don't want it on YouTube, it's uh, it's actually the, probably the best hosting uh, method out there. It's also good even if you have YouTube as a backup plan. Because recently I had my YouTube channel suspended for no apparent reason. You can see my, uh, my video on how I got back. Uh, on YouTube in the description below and basically my YouTube channel has been reinstated since um, but in the week that my videos were not available I needed a way to still show my videos on mathesysolutions.com because initially they were just embedded YouTube videos onto it so the best method I learned was to host all my videos on Google Drive so what I recommend doing is first basically back up all your videos on Google Drive because if you're on YouTube your videos you get suspended. You can't even download them or access them or or, or, or even see the description of your videos. So, so they're all gone. So basically, I, su I suggest making a database or basically a table that includes a YouTube video URL, description tags, etc., title, and also the Google Plus video URL once you've backed them up on Google Drive. So example, this one here this is percentage calculator. Uh, I'm just going to use this as an example. So if I go to here, percentage calculator, it's in the tutorial. It's a tutorial video, and this is this is right now. It's embedded is the YouTube video. If I click this, and let's just pause it right here. There's a share button. This is the URL I'm talking about. So I just I put that URL there. Description, etc. Tags, etc. Whatever you have in your YouTube video. And then also the Google Drive URL. So in this case, once you've saved it in Google Drive, here's the uh, video located in Google Drive. And this is the, I just copy and paste that. I would just save that in there. So I'm going to use this as an example, basically. And then you can basically embed your YouTube videos into your blog or website, like I do with MathEasySolutions.com and this percentage calculator. But whenever YouTube is suspended, you can quickly change the embed codes to embed your Google Drive hosted videos. I'll just go over how to how to do that. It's pretty straightforward, and it's it's actually the same speed as YouTube because it's all hosted by, I believe Google. They both own, Google owns YouTube, so. You can be, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's uh, without relying on YouTube's policies, uh, etc. Even though, yeah, basically you don't need to rely on if they randomly shut your YouTube channel for no reason, and it'll still be up. So basically, an example I'm gonna go with percentcalculator.com. This is the percentage calculator which I just showed, which is uh, just over here. This is just a random calculator to help you calculate percentages, like this, etc. Auto calculates the percent. So anyways, in this video tutorial, I have it embedded through YouTube, and it plays, well, just pretty much as you expect. So this is a YouTube video. So now I'm going to show how to do the exact same thing, but with Google Drive. So if you go to the YouTube as an embed code, it looks something like it's an iframe, has a width equals, etc. Then has a source, and that source is youtube.com slash embed slash this this uh, number right here which is the same thing this is a WHS etc WHS etc and that is basically if I click uh, let's go to embed here and that's that's just this one with a different width and height of the video allow full screen you could turn that on or off so in this one yeah I like allowing full screen so you have this and then then the Google Drive embed code this one uh, this the only thing you have to do is slightly different is when you click, sh you first have to make it share. Initially, it's private, so you got to make sure you got to click it and, and select change to make it public on the web, so anyone can access this and no sign in. So you could, yes, basically can view. You can just you can make them edit if they want, but uh, forget that. Just leave it view, and then done. Then you can go file embed this video, and this is the code right here. It's, it looks it looks very similar to the YouTube one. It just has a slash preview at the end there. Uh, that's the only difference. So this has a slash preview and the width. You can change them, etc. And so basically, you can just simply change the source, and then it will embed the YouTube one. I'm uh, oh no the the Google Drive one. So I have backed this video up on Google Drive, and I'll show how to change that right now. So basically, if you were to go into this is this is where the code is saved. And this one is currently, let's go, um, yeah, yeah, it's right here. If I scroll down here, there's a div, etc. You don't need to, if you know coding, you'll know what it is. But uh, anyways, basically, you gotta just have to change this embed code 
depending what you're using, whatever your blog is, it, you probably don't even need this code. And in this case here, I've already had it right here. I just commented this out. This is the YouTube one. Uh, and I've commented out the Google Drive one right here. Yeah, so in this case, if I just comment this out, let's go to that. Yeah, just uh, something like this uh, code right here. And this one would be, I think it's, and then dash dash. Yeah, just dash dash and then this uh, less uh, greater than whatever symbol there erase these. So I'll, I'll just show you and this is just pure HTML PHP it, and then now if I just basically I just save this file all I did was just uh, replace this YouTube one with this Google Drive embed code at the same width uh, at 728 and same height 546. Yeah, so right here, this is the tutorial uh, one right here. This is on my computer, and this right here on the left folder uh, is basically where uh, my website is saved in. This is an FTP file. I'll just, I'll just drag and drop here, and then so just replace it. So all I've done is change the embed code of it to make it the Google Drive one. So if I go to here, actually, no, this one right here, just refresh, it should uh, load up the other video. So as you can see, there is no more YouTube on this. This is directly from Google Drive. I just click it, and it plays just as well. You can do HD. This is basically this is a Google Drive file, and it looks exactly the same. But there's no little button here where I click to go to the YouTube one. So this is just uh, yeah. This is basically it's hosted on Google Drive. It's shown here. It looks looks very similar to YouTube, but it's not YouTube. And uh, this is a really good way of basically hosting for free. And just, uh, yeah, just hosting a Google Drive without YouTube. Yeah, so anyways, that is all for today. I'll, I'll revert back to the YouTube one because I want, every time you see it on this, it will show a view, but not if you have it on Google Drive. So this is a great backup way, or if you don't like YouTube, this is the best alternative to YouTube or Vimo, whatever uh, video hosting sites you have. This, this is a really good one. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link uh, below, and try this out for yourself. And also, also make sure to host all your, I mean, you basically save or back up all your videos anywhere, either Google Drive, Dropbox, SkyDrive, etc. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.